actually have a picture of it. So looking at this, what do you think? There are circles that share what? They share a common center. So it is circles that share a common center. And a good way to think of concentric circles, I always think of a target. Okay, so it's just a target with a common center and you've got your rings going around. Okay, the only difference is you've got different radii. So you got the small circle on the inner circle with a smaller radius and then the outer circle with a larger radius. Okay, externally tangent circles. Okay, what are externally tangent circles? Over here we have an example of what externally tangent circles look like. Well, to be tangent, they share one common point. So they're circles that share only one common point. They have no internally common points, do they? It's like a snowman, sort of. You've got the snowman up here and there's the smile, right? But they just touch in one place and so that they contain no common interior points, only the point of tangency. So that is what externally tangent circles look like. Okay, what are common internal tangents? Okay, there are two circles that touch in one place. So circles that touch, as I call it, I consider that a touch, in one at or at, let's just say at one point point but share many common interior points interior points there we go. So we've got one point that they have in common that's on the circle, but then they have a lot of shared internal points, but they don't have the same radius. You've got a little circle here, and then a big circle here, and they have different length radii, but they only touch in one spot. So that's internally tangent circles. Now let's change the focus from the circles to lines, okay? Common internal tangents, okay? If you have two circles and they are not touching each other, so they're not tangent, you've got two separate circles, this line that we've drawn that touches each circle once is considered a common tangent. Okay, what makes it a common internal tangent versus a common external tangent. And it's this. If I connect the center of this circle to the center of this circle, if I connect that, this line crosses the, the line between the center of my two circles. So that one's considered a commonly internal tangent. So it is a line or line segment that is tangent to both circles but crosses the line and it's kind of an imaginary line the line that connects the centers of each circle Okay, does that make sense? So it crosses, if I draw that imaginary line center to center, that common tangent crosses this common imaginary line. Now how's that different than the external? Well, let's look. Okay, we've got again two circles and they're not tangent to each other. They don't touch each other. But you've got an external tangent here and another external tangent here. Now notice these this these two lines are common are tangent to both circles but they don't cross this imaginary line from center to center okay so they are lines 
that are tangent to both circles but do not cross the line, the imaginary line that connects the center of both circles. Okay, so we'll be doing a lot with tangents in this lesson. So you've got internally tangent lines and externally tangent lines. Okay, and then you've got internally tangent circles where one circle is inside the other and they're tangent to one another. And then two circles that are tangent to each other but are externally tangent. Okay, so on the next page, we actually have just some more pictures of those terms. So you've got internally tangent circles where you've got one circle inside the other sharing this common point and we'll call that point T for the point of tangency, okay? This one externally tangent circles, externally tangent circles where they don't share any common interior points but they are tangent at one point We'll call that point P for point of tangency, okay? So we've got circle A and circle B containing no interior, common interior points. Now let's look at these common lines, okay? So these are tangent lines now. This one's an externally tangent line because notice here's our imaginary line connecting center to center and line AB does not cross that, okay? Here is another way to draw a common external tangent. If you have circles that are internally tangent to one, one another, you can draw a line that touches at that point of tangency. But notice, it's defined as an external tangent because the center and the center, that imaginary line I was talking about, notice this line does not cross it, therefore it's considered externally tangent. Okay, now let's look at the common internal tangents. Okay, so we have a big circle and a little circle, and they do not touch, but they have points of tangency here and here at A and B, and we have the imaginary line connecting the center of the circles, and that line that's tangent to both circles crosses that, so it's considered internally tangent. And here's another example of internally tangent lines. Okay, you have the two circles are tangent to each other externally. So you've got circle here and a circle here and they share a common point in the center. And the imaginary line from center to center is right here. And the line touches both circles in one spot. It just happens to be the same spot. So this is considered an internal tangent because it's crossing that line that connects the centers. So that's 